Well, foreign-born wrestlers no longer allowed to take part in Japan's national sport, and a year ago that crushed the ambition of a former Punahou athlete. He ran faster, jumped higher, and hit harder than most back in 1992 as the running back and state champion pole vaulter. But neither of those sports stuck with Robert Kikawa's pick is our Hawaii MVP this week. He's got his tachiya and shikiri sen down. His foot stomping and head slapping to a certain extent mimic Hawaii born legends of the sport, Akibono, Musashi Maru, and Konishiki. Not as a pro, because he wasn't allowed in, but as U.S. amateur national champion in sumo. At 5'11, 250 pounds, Kenna Heffernan has won U.S. middleweight national title four times, added the open weight championship last year, and is looking to reclaim both this weekend in Las Vegas. He's also taking part, as Jemai Webster reports, in the international competition. Kenna Heffernan, our Hawaii MVP this week. For Kenna Heffernan, his doyo has long been backyards in Hawaii. Career math teacher with a degree in biology. That's a winning formula. You need to be able to, to explode. <laughs> fight, to explode, to move, and also being able to do that, keeping your flexibility and your speed. All for sumo. He's preparing for the U.S. Nationals in Las Vegas, where he'll stand alone as the only sumo tori from Hawaii. But it wasn't always that way. How did a local boy from Hawaii get involved in sumo? Well, my dad got tired of my brother and I fighting in the house, so he put us in the ring started in Haula, and it's taken him around the world. Prepped at Punahou, earned a scholarship to be the starting tailback for Ivy League Yale University, graduated, and became a teacher. How'd you not become a politician or something? <laughs> uh, I really just had a, a feel for the kids, and um, it, it was a fit for me. Just like his Mawashi. Through all that, he'd never forgotten sumo and the goals he set out for himself. It's what drives him now at 37. I want to be world champ, period. I'm not training just for fun. Anything that's taking a little bit of food off our table, I have to be passionate about. And everything is paid for out of pocket, and I'm, I'm not playing around when I go out there. Strictly business. He wants to help Sumo return to its glory days on the island, days when Musashi Maro, Konishiki, and Akebono dominated. Now he has the torch and hopes to get Sumo recognized as an Olympic sport. On the professional side, it feels like it's stagnating, but the amateur side of it, we're, we're heading towards the Olympics. I mean, you got anywhere from 60 to 107 countries participating per year. Kenneth Heffernan of Hawaii. He sits on the committee, but his top priority is to take care of Hawaii. I really would love to see a World Games or World Championship come to Hawaii. We start small, man. We can change the world. I think that Hawaii and spreading aloha here is a good place to start. Just like when he began, right in his backyard. Jemai Webster, KITV4 Sports. Competition in Vegas is at the Riviera Hotel. Winner would have qualified for the World Games in Egypt later this year, but because of conflicts in the Middle East, that event got called off. Now, if you have any ideas of who we should feature as Hawaii MVP, just contact us at KITV.com.